So people back in the Midwest, they're all getting ready for corn harvest. We are getting ready for rock harvest. Ha! <laughs> Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey, we're back from Husker Harvest Days and we have a rock picker to get touched up, fixed up, not a whole lot to do on it, and we're going to go rock picking or rock harvesting. Should be fun. So, new U-joints on the drive line, new jack stand, and a little bit of welding that we just couldn't quite paint over. So, we'll get that all touched up and get her hooked up and ready to go. All that hard work changing new joints ready to go we gotta go use it so i have the 145 and the older smaller rock picker and nacho if you can see him up there in front of me he has the 370 and the new rock picker so before we went to husker harvest days we got the grain cart cleaned up put away and unhooked up 370 and now we're gonna go Harvest rocks. I don't know if this is a good view of it or not, but the best way to find some of the problem rocks, because I mean, we could be out here forever picking rocks, but if you look, you'll see sometimes a little bit taller stubble. And it's probably because as the header plate was, or the skid plates on the header were going along, they hit that rock and bounced up and raised the header up a little bit. So that's how I've been walking through the fields with the tractor finding some of these rocks. So uh, right there you can kind of see a rise in it because right there's a big rock. I don't know. You may not be able to see it from the camera. We'll get right up to it. I should kind of show you what I mean. There's the rock that I'm looking for. Obviously, I've had it off because I was kind of driving around looking. Get lined up for a better view of it. Get my PTO on and give her a little bit of speed. I don't need a whole lot. Throw it here, set the teeth right down about ground level. Right into it. There it is. Oop, up and in. Simple as that. So now we'll just scout around for another high spot of stubble. And we'll get the next rock. So as Nacho and I are rolling around, you know, we're just randomly scouting throughout the field. Um, we're not obviously trying to get every rock because there's thousands of rocks per acre. So um, we're trying to get the big ones, the ones that will do damage to the headers, uh, the ones that will bend the knives or something on the planter or on the air seeder. So those are the ones that we're shooting for. Um, I'm actually on my way back to the rock pile and 
picking up a few random ones along the way if I can find them because I'm full and it's getting full enough that it's having problems half the time the rocks just want to uh, fall right back out so uh, we can't catch that one so yeah, so I'm on my way back to a rock pile right now and get these kicked off and go find more. Well, rock load number two. Not a bad one. A lot of rocks. You know how I said that uh, sometimes you travel, you find a spot like, like the taller stump, and I said you travel over there to find a big rock. Well, sometimes you travel several hundred yards across the field thinking you found a big rock, and it's just well, the guys have been making good progress picking rocks. I've been doing stuff in the shop here in the, in the office, doing some crop insurance stuff, got all the claims taken care of, as well as uh, doing some planning for next year. And then we got some rain, a little, uh, couple showers yesterday morning, and then another one last night, four tenths of an inch. That's like the first rain we've had since July 4th week, maybe the, maybe the 6th or 7th is the last storm, so. And finally good to get some dust settled, but uh, we'll get going back rock picking probably next week. And uh, when the ground dries out, we don't want to make a bunch of tracks out there now with a little bit of rain on top. But I bought this from a neighbor. It's a bench cleaner. We'll be able to clean all of our own seed, get all those grasshoppers out of a bunch of the crop that we want to this year. And uh, especially our pulses that uh, we're going to keep for seed. They clean out really easy once they're dry. The wind takes them out. They're bigger than the peas, lentils, chickpeas, or uh, wheat, that kind of stuff. So cleaning them won't be a problem. But that top hopper up there is a little bit too small for comfort because you just have a little bit of adjustment and then also it'll overflow. So uh, we're going to build an extension for that. Got some old uh, sheets here from hopper building days. It's actually the arc curve cut out here that would have been to make the cones. So uh, we're going to use that, make another 10 inch extension up there, put some windows in it so we can see it, be able to adjust it from the bin a little easier. Make sure we're not overfilling it. Well, it's all welded, painted, and uh, even cut some windows in it so we can see. And Macy is helping me put the screws in. Good job, perfect. You gotta maybe loosen them all up a little bit first then, and then do them, do them, like just loosen, back these ones off a little bit, okay. and then do it. There we go, do the bottom one now the same. Sometimes you gotta get them all 
started and then tighten them up. Is that better? Yeah. Do this last one. I probably do that one too tight. I think the top one will line up. Job. Now snug them all like that. Okay. Is it stuck? Yeah, it's stuck. Is it recording? I don't know. What are you doing? It's, What's time left? it's recording. No. Well, it's a little bit longer till it's dry. It looks like lips. Yeah, it does look like lips. Okay. Did you kiss it? <laughs> What's this humidity stuff? Yeah. Daddy, where's the roll up? It's over here. Looks like something a All right, go ahead and put it on. Is. See where the hole's at in the center there? Mm -hmm. and wait, 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 wait. You gotta turn the, turn the patch this way. This way? No, okay. right. Sideways. Oh, there you go. that yep. way. Yep, there you go. Okay, who's gonna roll it? Is that how I do it? Yep, roll it from like the center. Roll, roll, keep rolling all the way across and push all the bubbles. Whoa, whoa. you got to go like from the, oh. from the center over this way and get like all the bubbles worked out of the edge. Oh. And then do the same going that way. Okay. And then like roll it all over really good. Get all your edges down because that's where it'll start leaking too if the edges aren't stuck down. I go the other way. <laughs> yep, go that way across all of it. Mostly on the patch would be good. Can I peel the other thing off so you're not going to peel that off? Yep, you can peel it off. Okay, that's probably good. Macy, you can do it next time on your I'd say it's seen worse, but I don't think there's too many that I've seen worse. Aired that stupid tire up what a dozen times during harvest. I, I'm sweatier than I plan on being today. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right. Stop Fridays are supposed to be easy days. Today is Friday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Means I go hunting in two days, and I haven't even shot my bow yet since. Uh, <laughs> Since my miss last year. <laughs> well, now that we're done uh, fixing tires on the blue truck, I'll show you guys we got this all on. Go around and grab the crawl up on the ladder. Maybe I'll just show you from down here. That is going to help out a lot. Give us a little more cushion for cleaning. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, farm hard, bray harder. We'll see you next video.